Hi friends, thank you for joining this tutorial. In this tutorial, we will learn how to write a Java client to post data to a REST service and then get back data again from the, that service. So, just to get a rewind, we have a REST web service which is mapped to post JSON and this REST service just sends a object called books let's see how this looks like so books uh, object has a very list of books and total price that is the content of the books ob object so it receives the books object it also has a method utility class which generates two more books so let's go here and see so it it will add two books head first java and head first design patterns to the book list and it will return the book list here so whatever the book list is there in the system in that book list we will say book list dot add and in that book list we will add the books which are sent from the request so in all if if there are two books in the system and the user sends back three books so those three are added and these five books in the list are returned to the user. So for example, we have a postman client here, REST client. So I'm saying, I'm trying to create a books as JSON. So I have a books. I have a name of the first book, name of the second book and the serial number, name of the third book and the serial number and the total price. So if I send this list, I'll click here. And I get an output which is like this and I have I have five books okay so let's assume I want to write a Java client instead of postman I want to submit the request using a Java client and 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 receive the response in the Java client so we will learn today how to write a Java client to post a request to a REST service so let's uh, create a new project I'll say new and we will say Java project. Let's call it REST client. Okay. And I'll just go with the default uh, selections. Now I need some libraries to be added. So we need three of the jar files which are jersey bundle 1.9 jensen 1.3 and jersey core 1.8 so these three are needed for the rest client so i'll go here and i'll say properties build path and i'll add jars so these are in the jersey library so i can go here and uh, so I'll say I'll select this one then this one and this one and I'll say open and okay fine so I've added the uh, jar files now I will add a package to write my class so I'll say new package com dot Okay. Now, since I will be using the books object, the book object, what I'll do is I will also copy uh, those domain objects from the service we have. Okay. But first, let's create a class called uh, REST client. Let's call it Jersey Rest Client. And I will copy these two classes so I can use them. So I've copied the entire package so we can easily use it. Okay. So since this is a Java client, let's write a public static void method.
now let's try to create so what we need is if you see here we need a books structure here okay book structure which is over here so we'll try to create a similar structure with java so i'll say books books equals to new books and we'll import it now this box contains three book objects one two and three so since we have we have got these three books so we will add three books so i have already created the book objects now i'll just paste it over here so these are the books just to save the time i have copied and pasted it we'll create an array list of books new array list okay let's import these in this list we'll add the books Okay, now we'll set the list in the box object. We'll also set the price. Let's go say hundred dollars. So, uh, so these are done. So we have the structure ready now we will start coding the client part okay so we have the structure ready which is this part now we will write the code which is act when we click the send button so the same thing we will write using the java code now so we have a object called client we let's import it so it is the one we will say Line dot create. Okay. Next is we will say line dot resource and we will give the URL. That means we are saying that this client is mapping to this resource. So let's whatever is the resource of the REST service, we'll paste it here. Now let's see what it returns. It returns a web resource, okay? So let's write it here, web resource like this. That means we are mapping the resource which the client will call or which the client is attached to. Now we will say web resource dot or resource dot type and it's talking about media type media type dot application JSON that means this web resource is going to send or call the uh, web service with this kind of data with JSON kind of data Okay. dot accept and again we can copy so we are saying that it will also accept some kind of data so what is that data type it is JSON okay and now we will say dot post and we have to say like what kind of 
output is expected so we'll say new then there is a uh, ready-made class in the JSON uh, in the Jersey API which is used for telling like what is the output okay so we are saying that it will be of the output will be of list of books okay let's try to import it one second so let's try to remove this so it's going to be like this and finally we will uh, say what I want to post so I want to post the books so I'll copy this and I'll paste it here So this is what will be posted now what is the output output so we are expecting that once we post the request we are going to get the list of books so if you see this output it is just the list of books which is coming back so we will call it list of books uh, response and we'll just send to response now we will the last part is we'll just iterate through the list so we'll say for book books book from response and okay so we are saying for each response get the book then we are going to print the book so I will copy it here now let's run it and let's run it and see how it works so we will say run as java program so friends as you can see we got back the five books just like what we got in the postman okay so i hope this is useful to you and uh, you will try it on your own and you'll also share it with others so if you have liked my video please like it and also post your suggestion in the comment section and please subscribe to my channel if you have not done it yet thank you and see you again soon